Hi everyone, this is Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. In this video, I will teach you how to design your uh, PIC microcontroller development board. As you know, PIC microcontroller development boards or development boards are very useful when you are developing any application. So, so that you can get it from uh, designing your uh, project on uh, brand board. You can design your project programming with the help of development board very easily. You can just uh, write your code and upload your code in development board and you have uh, many kind of uh, built-in peripherals in your development board and you can uh, use any development board any kind of peripherals you want and you can design development board according to your requirement for example this is the development board I have designed as you can see in this development board I have used uh, several peripherals for example uh, from the input uh, this is the supply input and uh, we will we can connect up to 12 volt here and these are the two diodes we used to uh, protect uh, uh, our circuit from negative polarity for example if someone connect uh, positive here and active here or, or, or if you if anyone connecting uh, uh, anything in order in reverse polarity uh, in uh, you will get uh, a positive output here and so these diodes are used as a reverse polarity protection and after that we are using 7805 because, uh, because most of the peripherals we connect on our development board will work on 8, 5, uh, on 5, 5 volt uh, 5 volt and then we are using these five uh, these uh, four uh, uh, fuses to protect our board from uh, extra uh, current in case of short circuit then as you can see we are using this microcontroller pic 16 f a microcontroller and as you can see in this circuit diagram we are, we have connected these uh, pin headers so so that we can connect anything externally for example we are using two pin headers for port D and similarly we have connected uh, this port D with LEDs also and we are using this buffer to provide uh, high current to LEDs for example if you are as you know uh, one pin of microcontroller cannot provide current more than 30 milliampere so we are using this buffer to provide high current for example if you are using these LEDs as well as we are using external profile with the same uh, with the same port so uh, you have to may you may have to use high current so microcontroller can only provide 30 milliampere current so in case of high current from this port it may damage the microcontroller so we are using this uh, current buffer and similarly we have connected uh, um, these pin headers with port uh, B and port C and similarly LEDs and we have also connected uh, LCD with port uh, with port C and some pins of port C and some pins of port D and we have connected this max 232 with uh, transmission RTX and RX pin of microcontroller and uh, we are also uh, using some uh, uh, header pins to connect external peripherals with the microcontroller so you can you can also uh, use uh, some other peripheral for example if you want to use a keypad you can also use a keypad here if you want to uh, use uh, some kind of uh, seven segment display you can use according to your requirement but it depends on your development board for example if you want to design a generalized development board which has seven segment displays LCDs keypad then you can use it according to your requirement but in case of development board you should at least use this pin header for example I'm using these uh, pin headers with port A and whenever you want to connect any sensor with this development board with microcontroller I will just connect uh, a pin on this uh, on this pin header similarly I'm using a buzzer and so it all depends on uh, your requirement which kind, which kind of development board you want to design in this development board I'm just using LEDs and max uh, UART max 232 and LCD and some LED, some LEDs and I, I will use these headers to connect anything externally but if you want to include other profiles you can do it so this is you can design your uh, development board yourself but make sure to uh, also left the pins for programming for example in this uh, 
microcontroller we are using these four pins to program the microcontroller and we are using pick kit 3 to program our microcontroller so we have so we have left uh, these five pins for example pin 1 is connected with master gear and pin 2 is connected with ground and pin 3 is connected with vdd and similarly pin 4 and 5 is connected with pgd and pgm pins of microcontroller because these four pins are used to uh, program microcontroller as you can see pgm and pgd pins pins are connected with these connector so it also depends uh, you should, should also left the header for the programmer and it depends on the which uh, kind of programmer you are using for example we are i am using picket 3 in this development board so i use five pins one pin is for master clear and ground and vcc pin and pgd and pgm pin which uh, used to program microcontroller with the help of picket 3 so you can easily design your pick development board or any kind of microcontroller pick development board uh, according to your requirement if you want if you don't want to purchase is a uh, ready-made pick uh, development board so procedure for designing a pick development board will remain same either you are using a pick microcontroller or 8051 microcontroller so uh, this is the ov basic over overview of pick development board I, I am using uh, and I have developed it myself so if you have any issue while designing a pick development board you can comment on this video and uh, uh, you just need to make the PCB of this uh, schematic and uh, test on your hardware it is very easy if you uh, if you are into electronics from last couple of years so uh, this is all about pick development board or any any kind of uh, microcontroller development board thanks for watching this